everybody. My name is Bu Noor. I'm doing an introduction to me and my artistry. First, I want to start with, um, I was doing makeup on myself. Um, these girls, they live in Kentucky, and they asked me, could I do their makeup? So I was like, oh, no, I don't really think I want to do anybody's makeup. I was pretty much doing makeup on myself and just posting pictures on my Facebook for fun. So um, she asked me, like, hey, you know, me and my sister, we want to get our makeup done. And I was like, you know, OK, cool. You know, I'll just take it. So <laughs> I let her know, like, I wasn't a professional or anything. And she's like, that's fine. I just really want you to do my makeup. So they came over to my house, and I did their makeup. And it turned out pretty cool. And I was like, OK, like, you know, I could probably do this as a job. Like, you know, who knows? So um, I started pursuing different things. I reached out to a few people and the person that I seen that I really clicked with was Latoya Taylor. She was really nice and really sweet. She showed me a lot of tips and tricks, I would say, you know, being a makeup artist and being an MUA, um, as far as being new to doing makeup. So I was working in the studio with Latoya Taylor and I worked in there for a few months. When I was working there, I would say that was my first prom season with makeup. So that was the thing that really got me out there. I graduated in 2016, and the class that came after me, 2017, they pretty much put my name out there because a lot of people knew me. So a lot of people came to get their makeup done from me. So doing that, that was my first, I could say, like, that's the first time I was like really out there. Um, I can't lie, the night before I did everybody's makeup, I prayed to God that I would not mess up anybody's makeup. I was so worried and I was so nervous. I was like, God, please, please don't let me ruin nobody's makeup because I cannot afford it. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I ended up doing everybody's makeup. Um, the makeup turned out pretty good and I became a little bit more confident in myself. At first I was like real nervous and I was like shaky and stuff, but once I did everybody's makeup, it turned out great. But like I said, from there, I was working with Latoya. Then um, I ventured off into working for MAC Cosmetics. Um, working at MAC was super fun. I feel like it was definitely um, a stepping stone for me as far as makeup. I learned so much as far as color correcting, hyperpigmentation, undertones, and colors that correlate together. So working for MAC was a very good experience for me. Um, I met a lot of MAC sisters from the time working there. Um, a lot of clients as well, a lot of people who I would consider family. Um, working for MAC, like I said, was really a good experience for me. Um, the reason I stopped working for MAC is because um, I feel like MAC is more, more of a sales job versus artistry, and I'm more focused on artistry over anything. So I eventually started doing freelancing again as a makeup artist. Um, not too long ago, I could say probably about a year and a half ago, I started doing freelancing again, and I've been enjoying freelancing as well. Um, another thing that I also want to mention, my name, my name is Bu Noor. Um, it's actually pronounced Y Noir, but I do go by either or Bu, Chacol, either or. <laughs> but um, yeah, people will see me and they'll be like, hey, are you Bu? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. So like I said, either or, it's fine with me. I don't have a preference. That's just my name that I go by. It actually means beautiful black in French. Um, I got the name from my sister, her car. I know that sounds strange, but I got it from her car. She called her car Black Beauty, and I thought that was so cool. I'm like, okay, that was super cute. It was a cute black Jeep. And um, with this Jeep, she always would like take like cute pictures in front of it. It was like a Barbie type of black Jeep. So anytime I like see her with her Jeep, it gave me like confidence and fierceness. So I just took black beauty and just switched it around to beautiful black and French. So that's pretty much how I got my name um, and how I got established as far as like my brand. I just took that along with me. I was sitting down trying to decide a name like, um, what could I name myself as a brand, as a makeup artist? Because at first I didn't have a name. And I just thought like, you know, Beats by Bu. And I'm like, okay, you know, that sounds pretty catchy. So from there on, I was like, you know, just Beats by Bu. Some of the challenges that I had as far as like my makeup artistry, I can say it gets very frustrating sometimes um, when I ask myself, I question myself a lot. Like, I always go back and question myself, like, am I doing this right or am I going the right way? I can say the most frustrating thing for me is trying to figure out 
like how far I'm going to get. Of course, I want to get like super far and I want to come to become to the point where, um, you know, makeup is all I do, which is makeup is all I do now. But I would say starting off, I was really nervous and I was questioning myself a lot. Like, is this for me or, you know, am I doing the right thing? Like, is this my calling in life? So I would definitely say like, that was one of my biggest battles that I had with makeup artistry. Um, I more so started off doing makeup as a passion versus for money. Um, like I said, I was doing it on myself and I was just doing it for the fun of me. And it became, you know, a career for me. So I used to question myself a lot because growing up, they teach you, oh, go to college. They teach you, you know, the right way to make money is to get a degree and do it that way. But here I am making money with my own two hands. So that was one of the things that I had problems with as far as a makeup artist in the industry. <laughs> Um, is finding myself and finding was this really, you know, something that you could do for a living and it is. Some advice um, I would give upcoming makeup artists is if this is something that you are truly passionate for or passionate about, stick to it. Um, I'm not saying like, oh, you know, this is my side hustle, I'm just doing it for fun. I'm saying no, if you're truly wholeheartedly passionate about makeup, like if you live and breathe makeup, Stay dedicated, like stay dedicated, promote, promote, promote on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever your social media is, is, promote. I remember it was times where I would get like one like or one share or people would hardly even notice me. People didn't even know my name, but I promoted, promoted, promoted. And I would say that's the advice I would give any makeup artist that's feeling like, oh, like I don't get enough clients or uh, my clientele is not there, um, trust me. Your clientele will come, you just have to stay down and you have to stay committed to the game. Like you have to promote, promote, promote. Like I would say this year, and I've been doing makeup, it'll be three years in September. This year is the year that I actually took off to the point where I'm booked nonstop. Beforehand, it was like, you know, I'll just be booked on weekends. I would say last year, I was mainly booked on weekends, um, like holidays or if somebody comes in for the, like comes into the city. That was most of the times where I was like really booked. But now I find myself throughout the whole week consistently booked. And, you know, people say like, oh, you know, they only go to popular people. That is not true. You have to promote. You have to give yourself a name. You have to give people something to respect. If you're, you know, on Facebook and you're promoting makeup and then you're promoting this and you're promoting that, people are going to be like, okay, what am I, like, what is she doing? You know, they don't know what you're doing as far as, you know, makeup or whatever. You have to stay consistent and stay promoted and dedicated to what you're doing. Once people see that consistency, they're like, okay, you know, I trust her to do my makeup. And you don't even have to be the best because I was not the best. I did not start off with being the best. I start off with little to, no, little to no knowledge, literally. I started doing my makeup on myself and then I started going out to other people. But over time, I eventually grew to the person I became today. So I would definitely say, stay down for the come up. I know it's, it gets discouraging, it really does. It'll be days where you'll question yourself, but don't, stay committed. So again, I wanna thank everybody for tuning in. Again, like I said, you can follow me on Facebook, you can follow me on Instagram, and I am Beats by Beaut, and I am Beaut Noor. And you can stay tuned for more fun videos. Again, I'll be doing clients, I'll be doing myself, and I mean, come get beat, period. <laughs>